Welcome back, everybody. It's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. Hello, my friends. I am back to play some pick three with Cree. And today I've done one, two, and three. Now today I'm doing four. And if you see here, I did have the days of the week here. And instead I thought I am going to number all of the days that I have. So next week we'll start with number six. So we'll have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hopefully I'll get up to 20, so five per week in March. But today I am doing squares, buttons, and embossing powder. Now, if you guys watch my, my videos, you know I love embossing powder. Well, embossing glaze, I guess I should say, the Tim Holtz embossing glaze. And I kind of have an idea in my head Immediately when I saw this, I was thinking of, first of all, doing kind of a patchwork look with squares and making my background. And then I can use buttons to create flowers. And I'm thinking I can kind of paint or draw them on. I can use the button for the middle and then go around and I can use embossing powder there. So this is what I'm thinking so far, but you know, <laughs> I, I rarely stay 100% on track, so we will see where this goes. So first thing is, I just grabbed a bunch of these sort of scraps, and I am going to punch out some squares to go on here. Now here's the other thing. I don't really have, as you can see, I don't really have any focal points or anything. So the great thing is I can play along and do this and experiment while I'm creating for something else. So for example, the first Monday of every month, we always have Mixed Media Monday with Lauren D. Donato in Divas Group. So her theme or prompt um, for this March, Mixed Media Monday, is floral. So I'm thinking of blooms and flowers and that's why I was thinking about using the buttons turning them into flowers. So I'm going to do my prompt and also participate in the Mixed Media Monday. So let's get started here. Some of these scraps and I'm going to use, I think I'm just going to use my square uh, paper punch and get some squares to cover what will be my should it be a tag? Yeah, we'll make it a tag. A tag or a journal card or whatever you would want to do. So let's put these together and I'll cut my corners off. There we go. So I'm going to kind of move this aside. Let's squash everything over here <laughs> and get my Punch. Maybe I want to do some greens here, green squares, and then some blues or something. Hmm. See, I'm already thinking a lot. Because I'm just thinking if I put a bunch of pattern stuff down, you might not really see when I do the, the flower on top of it. I could always cover it with a little bit of gesso, but hmm. All right, I'm going to start off with, let's see. Oh, this is kind of a pretty light purple. Let me just gather up some like colors here. Now I'm just going to play around and see what this looks like if I were to put these down for my background. So I think I'm going to do this. So that's what I'm going to use to create my background. Now I'm actually going to start on this side because this is what I really want to cover up. 
Now, do I want to ink these? I think I probably will want to. So, I'm not going to go crazy, but just a little bit along those edges. Okay, so now I'm ready to start gluing these down. And I'm just going in straight lines. Now you could always stagger them or do some kind of a different uh, layout, but this is just easy. So I am just going to do one row at a time. And I definitely think it's a little bit easier on the eyes to do a kind of a monotone so everything is kind of the same color and not too busy in the background because I want whatever my focal point flowers I want that to, to show up and look nice so we'll see what this is like when I'm finished here so I'm doing this little edge and then I can just cut off the excess and these papers here I have some dyed papers, there are some printed papers, all kinds of stuff here. Then I'm just going to squish this down, make sure that everything is nice and glued. Cut off the excess and then we will be ready. And I'm liking this now that I'm finished here. I really like the background. This would be great to do with scrap papers to make a large master board and then cut it into, uh, you know, your tags or whatever you want to use. So I'm just going to cover the other side with a book page just so it's not plain cardboard. I kind of forgot to do that. So need to do that. And then re-ink those edges and now we are finished with this so we can think about buttons and things for focal points okay so first i'm going to test out these two inks okay no so that's olive and let's test I think this is actually going to show up more. So let's use this one. And I'm going to use mowed lawn embossing glaze. And now let's see. I'm trying to figure out what do I want for the center of my flowers here. So these are not too big. So like this is just gonna be a little much. So I really wanted to use a really big giant one, but my idea with the stamps, they're gonna have to be a little smaller. We'll do the stem part first. I need, I'm going to do my three stems here. Hopefully this works and shows up well. Okay, now I'll put my, set it with my heat gun. So this is good. You can see how it turns shiny. So it has that kind of 3D look. And now I can do my flowers. I'm gonna try these bright colors. We're just gonna go for it.
see what this does. We can always go over it and do something else if we don't like it. So see how bright it looks here and it's really not, unless I would have a, a, um, a matte and a very opaque ink, it really won't show up like this. Now if I put, and now I don't like any of, like this is too big too. So, <laughs> yeah, I definitely want a smaller button now. Okay, now I'm gonna try Abandoned Coral and I'm gonna put it with this worn lipstick. So this might be nice and bright. Let's see. Now I also have this, I could always go. Should we try it? Sure, let's try it. Okay, so let's try if we would do a different color with the orange. I don't really have orange ink, so let me go with Crackling Campfire. Why not? Let's do it, see what happens. This will be a different color ink with the same embossing powder. <laughs> I don't know about this. Let's get this on here. See what happens. Okay. Now we can, we could even like go in there with a different marker if we wanted. I might end up just completely ruining this guy, but, but it's okay because what did I do? Glue down some squares. No big deal. I can always recreate it. I just want to see if I add some different color here. purple color though. This is seedless seedless preserves. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up so you can see. Now here's the the thing. We used embossing ink which has no color. So the embossing ink you can get in a pen or a, um, an ink pad and it's no color to it. It's just sticky, so it will stick. The embossing powder will stick to it. And the glaze becomes translucent when you heat it. So see how here it's darker because underneath paper is dark. So now let's just see. I am going to try this purple, this plum color with this one. So now it will actually look more purple because it will have purple ink. I think I'm gonna like this. We shall see. Yeah, I'm gonna like this purple.
Now, what a difference that is, huh? Okay, so now, and you can even do these one on top of the other. So I'm almost thinking, I'm gonna try a pink one down here. See, this is not that dark, so we'll see how well this one shows up. All right, that's okay, but I bet if I did Crackly Campfire with this on top, that would look really nice and bold. Okay, one more thing I want to try on this is to just go over this with a light thing of gesso and it will either cover this up enough that I can put more on top. Um, I don't want to cover it completely but or I'm going to end up hating it so either way we will we will see. <laughs> Okay, I have this stamp that looks like grass, so I'm gonna put a bunch of that at the bottom. So, <laughs> this is what we have covered with the gesso. You know, you never know. Sometimes these, you know, you're not happy, but you just keep going and it ends up being something like a pleasant surprise. You end up loving it. So, we'll just keep going. It is kind of cool, like how the embossing glaze is kind of, you know, popping up from underneath the gesso. Well, for some of the colors. And here we go. See, this is kind of fun. I think I might end up being okay with this. See, these are chalk ink, chalk ink. So these really lay a good foundation for this stuff. I'm gonna like kind of roll it around slightly because I have, you know, different levels on the paper here. Let's try to do more flowers and heat them at the same time. Purple. And then I want to try the crackling campfire. Okay, this is much better. I'm much happier with my flowers here. Woo, this was a process, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, I think I'm actually happy with this now. So let's see what our buttons are like to be on here. Some, I'm gonna see what white looks like. And I think since it's kind of crazy looking in the background, if I use the same buttons on all of them, it'll look, you know, or at least the same color. It'll have a more cohesive look and that will 
at least for me in my head, that will make me more satisfied. And I think I'll put a grommet in this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I've got some little, a little bunny button that was down my sleeve. <laughs> okay. Moving right along here. Now, wondering what this would look like if I went around and did like a messy outline around these flowers, but I don't want to mess it up, but yet it's all about playing, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I like it. I like it. need to do some more fuzzy fiber packages for my shop so I will try to do that soon of course I will let you all know when I get to it and I also want to do let's do one of my paper beads on this I might cut this down one I don't know, I think I might just attach this to my Diva Delights send out. So what I'm doing is when I send these out for my Diva Delights, I'll put some of the things that I used. Maybe I'll put some fuzzy yarns in since I have more of that. And like, for example, the first one that I did, I used aluminum foil tape so I can get some of that stuff and just sharing some things like that with my Diva sisters who are in who are signed up for Diva Delights, which is my little monthly project share that I do in Junk Journal Divas. Guys, so look at that. I am finished with this one. So now I can post this as my number my number four squares buttons and embossing powder and also this can be posted for mixed media monday with lauren d donato so ta-da thank you so much for joining me today and stay tuned the next one i do will be purple pattern paper and bubble wrap. I love using bubble wrap. So that will be fun. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>